Hi, it's Paul here again. Here we are with another short video again on your WordPress site. Um, another couple of things to change for you. The first thing is if you're not happy with the way your site looks, then you can change it. There are various themes available and the way you change it is you go into appearance again and click on themes. Okay. There are some themes already loaded here. These are the free ones from WordPress, um, apart from this one, this Genesis one here. I'll tell you about that in a minute. That's the one that I have on there. Um, but the, these, all these other ones on here are already in, and you can use any one of those. You just click on them. You can have a look at a live preview of it if you want by clicking on it like that. And it will take you to a page load it all up for you like that and it'll show you what it looks like basically um, this hasn't come out properly because of the uh, theme that I've already got in but this would show you your your site as it would look if you had it um, so we don't want that um, now the one that I have got loaded is as I say is Genesis um, this is one you have to pay for um, it, I mean if you search for WordPress themes there's loads of them but it's important that you get a responsive theme, to my mind it is anyway. And by that, I mean if we go to here, Studio Press, this is where you will get Genesis, all the Genesis ones, Genesis Framework here. And this, their own site is, uh, is obviously one of theirs. And what I mean by responsive is, if I just close this, pull this in, will see that everything starts moving around so it doesn't matter what see like that, so it all closes down shrinks to size so it doesn't matter what um, equipment they're looking at it on whether it's a tablet or phone it just slots everything in one behind the other and reduces it to the size so they can see it on whatever piece of equipment they're using so to my mind that is important have a responsive theme now as I say these are paid for themes and if we look at uh, the Genesis framework it's $59.95 that's dollars um, however you can use it on um, as many websites as you want so if you're building if you're going to start building websites for other people if you're thinking of doing that at all then you can use this one for them you might want to build more than one website yourself so again you can you can use this on all of them um, if you look at my sites both my sites that I've got are a Genesis theme there we are so I can shrink these and you'll see that uh, first the sidebar will disappear and then everything will start slotting in so you can still see it all no matter what device you're actually using okay so that is that um, what else did I want to show you on this one um, one thing we didn't cover in I don't think is um, again in settings if we go to uh, reading you will find that this will be clicked at the front page displays it will be set to your latest posts so that means that if anybody just uh, finds your website, what they will see when they go to it is your last blog post that you put in there. Now you may want to leave it like that, that's entirely up to you. But I prefer people to go to my home page. So once you get a home page set up, you might want to come in here and just click to a static page. And then you will see here you can set up you know, see I've got one page that's for courses and one page that's for home so I just click on the home one and leave it at that and again save changes and that will then take people to my home page whenever they go to my site they will go straight to my home page um, which you can see there so that's the home page not that one but that one that's where they'll go to straight away you can set it to anything else if you have it set on blog then like I say the last post that you have written will be the one that shows when they go to your site.
personally, like I say, I prefer them to go to uh, to the home page. Okay. Um, you can set it for how many blog posts you want to see. You can also set it for um, to see how much they see on your blog site. So when they actually click on blog, um, if we go to my other site where I've got more than one blog post, I click on blog. You can see that this is a summary of the last the last post that I wrote and the ones previous to it. They're all summaries. It doesn't show the whole post. Whereas if you um, if you set that to full text, it will do exactly that. It will show the full blog post and they'll have to scroll all the way down and there'll be a link to the next blog post and so on. So it's best I think to put in a summary. Okay. Um, the other thing with the while we're on the themes uh, that I didn't tell you about with that, and it's in plugins. It comes with the Genesis framework, and it's a plugin that comes with it. Um, so if I go back to my site again, or if we just come and go here and have a look here, I think I saw it. I think I set it up here. I'm sure I did. These are the different plugins. Uh, this one's showing that uh, there is a new version of Askimet, Akismet rather, available. Um, and that one there, which is normally in uh, a red circle or orange circle, shows that there is a a new version available, an update, and that's it there. That's what it's telling us. But the one I wanted to show you about was this one here. This simple social icons will come with the Genesis um, system and you have to load it, add, add new. When you download the Genesis kit it comes as a I can show you here, it doesn't matter. It comes as a zip file. You can see here. You can see So once you've downloaded it and uh, you want to install it onto your site, all you do is you go to plugins, add new and then upload upload plugin and then all you do is you browse the file and you find it. It automatically unpacks it uh, and sets it up for you um, but then what you need to do is uh, once it's loaded up you'll have a, a form to fill in on it and uh, I can't do it because it's activated but uh, there'll be a full form to fill in on it which is all your URLs to your social media sites so if you've got uh, if you've got a Facebook account or a Twitter account LinkedIn you can load up your um, your profile URLs and you will see that down here it's got all the these are all the ones that I've put in so I've got Facebook, Google Plus, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter Vimeo for my uh, videos and YouTube for my videos and if I click on say Facebook that's exactly where it will take me to my Facebook page there you go that's me and my buddies on the Facebook page so it's very good it's a good way of people getting in touch with you find out who you are a little bit about you um, that's that plugin the Akismet which I told you there was a, an update of just to give you a brief overview of this this is one that um, up here you've got a list of comments that you get up here there's none there at the moment but if you start getting a lot of um, spam comments and on my other site I was getting thousands literally thousands and they are all sites that just have they're just automatically posted for open websites where they can place comments and uh, these these comments just have a link in back to their website and they, they just come in by the thousands once they get hold of you they just literally just blitz your site and to stop that you just activate uh, you just activate this Akismet plugin and to do it you have to um, you, you'll click on it to activate it and it will come up at the top and take it with a link to take you to the site and you actually have to purchase it I can't remember what it is now but you buy it and then you get an API key 
able to uh, load up into the site and it will stop that but you don't need to activate it and you don't need to buy it unless you start getting loads and loads and loads of um, spam comments up here okay I think that will do for now it's quite a long video but uh, hopefully that's helped you